Welcome to Defender Chassis. My name's Scott. Today's video is the first in what I hope is a long series of show and tell style videos. The idea of which is to give you a uh, glance at some of the parts that you may order uh, before you get them. Um, uh, I know a lot of times racers will uh, spend money on something that uh, you know, there's a nice glossy picture in a catalog or you know a staged picture in uh, on the internet somewhere but you're not really sure what you're going to get and what, what's going to look like when it comes out of the box so this video is to try to bridge that gap and uh, give you a better idea about what it is that you're going to um, get before you actually lay down your hard-earned money for it um, today's video will be on a lightweight aluminum strut package from Strange Engineering. It's their part number PSS 115 with the medium duty brake package. We're going to use that this, this strut package here for a project that's coming up uh, which hopefully you'll see some videos on in the near future. It's a super gas style roadster with a Dodge Challenger body. So look for that coming up. Um, let me change the camera around and uh, get you a better shot of what uh, what's in this big box, what you get when you order the strange PSS 115 lightweight aluminum strut package. Okay, so here we go. The first thing to come out of the box are the uh, rotors. Uh, this particular package was ordered with a four and a half inch bolt pattern. I'm not sure that, that necessarily matters. There are uh, slots. <coughs> For the uh, for the studs, so I believe that the uh, the rotors are um, actually um, universal. So that's a give you a good shot. Um, they uh, appear to be directional. They've got the uh, arrows uh, cut on them, so you've got a uh, a right and a and a left. So let's take a look at. Uh, Take a look at those as they come out of the box. Okay, put these aside. And um, everything that you get from Strange is uh, typically very well packaged. Uh, so it's uh, rare to uh, have any kind of damage. In fact, I can't remember a case where anything I've gotten from Strange has ever uh, shown up and needed to be uh, attended to. This is probably the uh, calipers. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to open the other one, but um, this is what, like I said, this is the medium duty, um, the medium duty brake package. I will open it up. To make sure you get a good shot at uh, everything that uh, everything you want to see. These are your caliper brackets, obviously. Um, without looking at the directions, I believe this is going to bolt to your strut, and uh, your calipers will, um, well, I have only have it backwards. It must bolt to your struts in these locations, and then your calipers will, uh, will bolt on as, uh, as such. 
Those also are right and left, as you can tell the part numbers are an A and a B. Package of hardware, uh, your grease seals for your hubs, uh, caliper bolts, I'm guessing, along with, uh, with all the shims. These are your grease caps for your for your hubs. Very well made, simple O-ring seal. They just press in and and uh, hopefully stay put. Here's one of your hubs. Of course, this does have the uh, the four and a half inch bolt pattern that was ordered, but you can get them in either four and a half, five on four and a half, or five on four and uh, three quarters, if you have a preference. Like I said, the hub simply slides in, and the O-ring holds it uh, holds it in place. I'm going to shove that all the way in. A little grease would help that come out, so. The other hub is in the box, but I'm not going to unpackage it. It looks just just identical. Um, Timken Timken bearings, wheel bearings. I'm not sure where these are made. USA. So you get um, USA made Timken tapered roller bearings as uh, part of this package. I'm not going to show every one. Of course there should be two of one size and, and uh, two of another. Let me get these out of the way. Studs. These are wheel studs. Um, I'm not sure. They're three, three and a half inches long. Let's take a look. Actually, uh, two and a half inches. So you get a package of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten studs to be threaded in each of your. Uh, of your hubs. That's the other hub. Now on to the fancier stuff. You also get um, selection of what I got through uh, this package are Hyperco Springs, which I think is pretty typical now for uh, Strange. I think I've gotten some other uh, manufacturer's springs uh, in the past. And of course, uh, you get your selection of uh, spring rate. So if you know what you, what you need, uh, they can fix you up with whatever, uh, whatever spring rate uh, that you need. Um, let me get some of this other stuff out of the way. Um, Turn the video off, be right back. Okay, I'm back with you here. This, I think, is going to be um, brake pads. Yep. So, instead of brake pads, I'm not going to open them past that, but you get an idea of what. Uh, what you get. Just 
steering arms. There's your uh, those are your ste steering arms for uh, left and right. This is going to be lower control arm kit. Um, you have your choice of uh, 7 16 or half inch rod ends uh, with uh, with this kit. Uh, I opted to go with the uh, the half inch. Um, no particular reason. Um, light enough car it should have been able to have the, the smaller stuff, but there's no difference in price to go with the half inch. So that's what uh, that's what we opted to do on uh, on on this project. So. Simple enough. Uh, your four lower tubes for your lower lower A arms, and uh, a uh, hardware package with uh, your jam nuts. Your jam nuts and your tube ins inserts for the uh, different sizes of uh, of uh, tubing. Be some rod ends in here. Yeah, there you go. This is your hardware kit um, for your spindles, um, cotter pins, uh, your nut washers at the end of your spindles. Um, I'm not sure what these bolts are for. Maybe for the attachment of the um, caliper bracket. Leave those packaged up. This is um, ball joint. Two, two ball joints, your stud that goes into the uh, bottom of your uh, of your of your strut should be a that's a right hand should be another left hand in here somewhere. So there's your opposite side. Left hand thrust bearings for under the spring seat, so that uh, as your suspension articulates and your spring compresses, uh, the spring wants to twist a little bit. Uh, these allow it to uh, twist and uh, and uh, not bind. I'm not going to pull them out of there. I don't want to get get this stuff loose. Uh, but it's just a series of shims and and um, uh, thrust bearings. This is the piece we've been looking for, not because it's the last one, but because it's what the kit's all about. This will be your strut.
So there it is. Double uh, jam nuts for the adjuster on your uh, on your spring. Um, in addition, I guess these are also uh, single adjustables. Uh, you can get these packaged a little more expensive in a uh, in a double adjustable. So give me a shot of the other side. A little shot of the back. This is uh, this is your adjustment uh, screw. And the last thing in the box are your instructions. So there you go. It's everything you get in the strange PSS 115 lightweight aluminum strut package with medium duty brakes. All right, there you go. That was what you get when you order the strange PSS 115 lightweight aluminum strut package. Uh, if you like what I've done here, uh, please uh, hit the thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more of uh, this type of stuff, don't be afraid to sub subscribe to uh, this channel. Um, as always, constructive criticism is uh, welcome, but uh, please keep it constructive. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. <clears throat> welcome to Defender Chassis. My name is Scott. Today's video is a show and tell style video, which is Chuck, you need to be cool. Welcome to Defender Chassis. Stop it! <laughs>